What's up YouTube, Tom Palmer here from Great Bar Golf Club. Today I've got the brand new Ping G710 iron. It hasn't been released yet, but I'm gonna go through whether it's worth upgrading from the G700 to the G710. So before we get started, I actually wanted to go through the, what is the difference between the Ping G710 and Ping G700. Well, they're both designed for the golfer that is off a mid to high handicap. The Ping G710 iron is actually said to be the most forgiving and the longest iron that Ping have ever released. So, I mean, apart from that, looks wise, one is black, one is silver. This is meant to be a hydro pearl chrome finish, apparently, and obviously we've got our standard finish on the G700 iron. So, what's the theory behind having a black golf club, all right? Well, what they say is that it actually looks a little bit slimmer in terms of the address. They do look very similar in terms of the thickness, However, apparently looks wise, it does look a lot slimmer. So, but we'll put that to the test when we get a few shots. So apart from that, they said that the Ping G710 iron is a lot quieter in terms of sound. So if you've hit the G700, you will know they do sound a lot very clunky, very, very hard to hit. We are gonna test it as well with the G710 and see how it actually compares compared to that one. So the Ping G710 iron is going to be released in February and the recommended retail price of this is £169 per iron, um, whereas if it's in a graphite it's going to be £179. We are also, with the Ping G710 irons, going to have a smart grip in the end of it, so what that means is that you can keep track of all your stats and your information when you're out on the golf course. So what we're going to do now is I want us to go into the swing room, we're going to put the G710 iron to the test. So I've got the G710 iron here, we're going to do a little bit of testing to see how this club actually performs. I really like the fact that there's a little white line on the bottom of the face and that part is still staying silver. I'm not too sure how it's actually going to feel or how it's going to look after I've hit a lot of golf shots with it. Will the black actually get discoloured? I'm not too sure. But again, we'll do some testing on how it feels and how it looks on, in terms of our setup. So I'm just setting up now. It doesn't actually look very big, it looks quite slim in terms of the setup position, but I'm going to hit a few shots, see how it feels. Tell you why it felt great off the face. There wasn't a big uh, impact like the G700s were, it's gone really long. Don't know if you can see that or not, but I've got a nice centered shot. I don't know if it's, uh, let me try and focus it a little bit. I think you might be able to see it there. But in terms of the shot, it was really good, felt great, nice straight goal shot, not much deviation on the golf ball. It felt really nice to be fair to it. Um, again, it's very thick, but for me, probably not the club for me, but it does feel good off the face and performance wise, that was really, really good. So I'm gonna hit a few more shots. Tell you what, it's very consistent. Both traveling around 175 mark in terms of the carry. So. Really nice, nice straight flight as well. There's not too much side spin on the golf ball. It feels really, really good to be honest with you. So let's just hit a few more. Tell you what, flight was really nice again. 177 carry. I mean, club wise, it's actually performing really, really well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to compare it now against the G700 iron to see what actually changes or if I can feel a difference between the two. I'm going to keep the exact same shaft. I've got a Modus 105 stiff shaft in there, but I'm going to keep the same shaft. I'm going to compare the two and see what happens. So I've got the Ping G700 iron now. I'm going to compare back how that G710 actually felt. So let's have a little look, see if anything's changed in terms of our setup position, in terms of the actual dressing the ball. Looks very similar to be honest, it looks really similar in terms of actually setting up. Both look the same in terms of the length, but we'll give it a go, let's see how it feels off the face, see if it performs any differently. So exactly the same in terms of the carry distance, speed has stayed exactly the same as well. Again, it felt, felt pretty good, a little bit louder off the face I'd probably say, but not loads, I couldn't really tell much of a difference if I'm honest. Go again and see what happens on this one. Right, another straight goal shot, 172 carry. So nice and straight, close to the line. To be honest with you, I can't really feel the difference between the both. Uh, let's hit one last shot. So 
that one's really jumped on me. It's gone and carried around 190 yards. It was a good shot. It was a good flight. However, it felt exactly the same as the other one, to be honest, with the G710. So overall, the G710 for me hasn't really stepped it up the mark. I think it's a nice looking club and it does definitely feel a little bit more solid off the club face. But is it worth spending however much on a new set of clubs if you've got the G700 irons? Definitely not. I think performance-wise, they perform exactly the same. Kept the same shaft in, different head. I had one jump a little bit more than the other, but on the whole, they are very, very similar clubs. So if you have the G700, I'd recommend not purchasing the G710. If you haven't tried the G700 and the G710s are the first irons you're looking at getting, performance-wise, they are good, very consistent. Doesn't matter if you strike them too much off centre, they're a good iron to hit. So Thanks, guys, for watching the video. I've really enjoyed making it. If you've got any questions or you want to know anything about the G710 iron, make sure to comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.